everyone thank you for joining me today very happy to see you here and if you happen to see me for the first time today my name is Vicha and I make DIY home decor uh, refurbishing and some kind of thing uh, videos if you are into the same type of videos if you are same type of content you will definitely enjoy the videos that I posted on my channel please don't forget to check out right after this video you will definitely enjoy it and let's get started with today's video So today's video is about thrift flips. Now, if you remember, or if you've seen my previous video where I went to Salvation Army for thrifting, I picked up two things. There was one long tray, one long ceramic tray, uh, and it was pretty long that I was thinking that I'll be able to make it a centerpiece from that. With that long tray, I actually thought maybe I'll be able to make some long faux uh, succulent tray, something that we can put it as a centerpiece. Then I changed my mind. So I changed, I made something else from that. And other thing that I picked is the wood rings. It was for some other kind of uh, decor. It was a part from some uh, some wood decor piece. And some I, someone I guess donated it at thrift store. So I picked up, both of them were like a couple of bucks, like $2 for the tray and probably two or $3 for the 25 wood rings. And they were really good quality, I have to say that. So for that, I, I could figure out a few things that uh, that was in my mind that I can make it. So with the tray, I actually was going to Instagram and I, I figured out that yeah, there was some fancy candles I was seeing in Instagram reels. And I thought maybe I have a tray, I should try to make one long candle. So yes, I made a candle. I have used my dried florals that I made last year that also I posted the video on long ceramic tray that turned out pretty good. And the second thing I made from the wood rings was actually a candle holder or probably a vase, something that you can utilize in different ways. So yes, yeah, both of them turned out so well. You will definitely enjoy it and let me show you how I made it. So to start making candle, I had to clean the tray with alcohol wipe. I think I've seen that on Instagram that they cleaned the vessel with alcohol wipe and let it dry completely. I ordered candle wick from Amazon. Somehow it was taking much time to get it delivered to my place. So I came up with a hack. I had this tea light candles. So I took out all of them from the foil and it was about eight or nine of them that I had to take out for this tray. After taking it, it was pretty easy just to take it out from the foil and after that I started to separate candle wick and the wax from that. It was super easy, it was like a minute thing. After one or two minutes, I had my eight tea light candles separated from the candle wick. And then I took those tea light candles and put it in my double boiler. I added some essential oil and let it melt. While it was melting, I had to stick my candle wick on my long candle. I wasn't sure how much wick I'm supposed to be putting it. So I was trying to do a little bit of measurement according to wick I want to burn at the same time. So I came up with an idea that I can have five wicks, but I cannot burn all of them at the same time just to keep balance in between melting wax. So I stick five of those on my tray with glue gun. Now, if you remember, these are the dry floors that I made last year, exactly a year ago. These are all handmade and if you want to check how to make it on your own, go ahead and check out that video as well. I'm going to put link in the description. So after that, once I have a wax melted, I pour it into my tray nicely and evenly. And after that, before the wax starts to harden, I started putting up my flowers. You can actually use the lavender as well. Lavender season is coming up. So you might be able to get a lot of lavender buds that you can use in your candle. And also you can use lavender essential oil as well. These are the flowers that I just added for the decoration. I actually added the peppermint essential oil in my candle just because it's summer and maybe i can put this candle out on my patio so 
I use this flower just as a decoration. Maybe you can go with something that is an actual flower as well. And yes, I have rearranged the flowers in small and big, piece, big pieces on my candle. And I was done with this project. This is a little bit of ASMR for you, so I'm not gonna speak much. I will show you how what I did with that after a couple seconds. So those woodens came with an attachment of some kind of a hook in that that they were supposed to go on actual decor. And I had something to do with the wood rings, so I was just trying to gather and trying to make three separate standing gestures from that. So I decided upon my project with that. I separated uh, the hook that would, that came with each and every ring, and that took about a minute for me. It was not a tough part. After that, I was supposed to make a standing gesture for one with five rings, another one was seven rings, and the third one was the remaining rings out of 25. I glued them together with my hot glue gun and in this case I could have used Gorilla glue or wood glue as well. I just wanted to make it quicker so I used my glue gun. You can certainly go with some stronger glue than this one. I would highly recommend to use super glue or wood glue. It is just that it's gonna take a little bit of time to dry and that's okay. Once I glued them perfectly nicely, I pressed them hard really together and then i just to give a little bit of texture i added a stone spray to that i'm doing a reverse spray spray thing so i use the texture first and then i'll paint the rings so the stone spray doesn't show up so i first give them a texture by spraying the stone spray on them and i let them dry for about five to six hours And once I had them dry, I started to paint them in white color. It was a white primer in actual finish and, and that was doing a really good job on the rings and it was turning out the way I wanted. Um, somehow I changed my mind and then I decided to spray paint the rings in black color and that was looking even better. So I spray painted all of those rings in two coats and let them dry for about 12 hours and I was done with my wood rings DIY and I'm, I was absolutely in love with that. I thank you so much and this is a reminder for you to go and check other videos on my channel I am 100% sure you will love it and don't forget to leave your comment because they constantly come up with an idea for new videos and of course that will absolutely suggest it by you so you will definitely enjoy watching it and also I go by each and every comment when you comment a tiny thing even with the emoji that means a lot to me so don't forget to do that and I will see you in the next video